Welcome to Heen Bui's Story Series. Today we will listen. A Good Bird There is a farmer plants a lot of trees in the garden, among them is a very old and big persimmon tree. Many birds like to perch on the persimmon branches to rest, preen their feathers, and seek for worms. One day the farmer has to visit his sick friend far away from home. For several days it is so hot and there is nobody water the trees in the garden. Trees start to wither and Uncle Persimmon is not an exception. Uncle Persimmon whispers with the birds. My dear friends, I am too thirsty. Do you know where the water is? Can you bring me some water? The birds shake their head and talk. The water is in the river but it is so far away from here. We cannot bring you the water. It's a very hard work. And they talk to each other. This tree is dying. There is no way we can save him. Let's find another place to live. Do as they said, the birds fly away and leave Uncle Persimmon alone. There is a little bird which gives the persimmon a lot. He insists on staying with Uncle Persimmon. He says, I will take the water for you. Don't worry, please wait here and I will come back. The little bird then flies to the river. He swallows the water and keeps them in his mouth. He flies back and drops the water to the root of the persimmon. After that he flies back to the river and takes the water to the garden again and again. One woodpecker is seeing that. He says, What are you doing, little bird? I think that your effort will lead to nothing. Your water is too little, the trees here will all die anyway. Little bird says back, I don't know if it could work, but I will try my best to save my loving trees. The woodpecker just sights and flies away, leaving the little bird alone with his work. The little bird still tries his best to bring water back to the garden. The persimmon starts to green again. He is healthy and not sick anymore. The little bird is very happy. He sings happily on the persimmon branches. But little bird does not take a rest for long, he still continues his work to water the other trees in the garden. One day there are noises from far away. The noises are getting closer. Then there comes the old birds that used to live in the garden. To their surprise the persimmon is even more green than ever, and many trees in the garden are alive. They perch in the fence and ask Uncle Persimmon. My dear Persimmon, will you agree to let us stay again? Uncle Persimmon says, I thought that you left here and lived in other places. Don't you remember that you said I would die and this place is no use for you? The birds answer back, We are so sorry that we left you when you are thirsty. We intend to stay in the jungle but anywhere when we want to stay, there were bigger birds or animals that ask us to go away. Please let us to stay otherwise we have no place to live. Uncle Persimmon thinks for a while and says, I agree with you, but you need to help Little Bird to bring water for the other trees in the garden. They are so thirsty and without your help, they will die. You help them, we then all have great environment to live. The birds don't need to hear Uncle Persimmon say it twice. They all agree and start to bring water back to the garden right away. Little Bird feels very happy because he has many friends that can help him now to save the garden. Soon with the effort of many birds, all the trees in the garden now have water to drink. They all become green like before. The birds start to sing and preen their feathers and seek for worm again. The origin life is back. But now the birds got a lesson. Help the other when we can because someday we will have to ask them for help. This is the end of the story. As you see, the birds help all the trees in the garden and they have a great life. If they don't, the trees would die and they have no place to live. Help the others when we can, it's we help ourselves.